Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, it's it starts in June, right? What's that? The, the the QT starts in June. It starts today. Yeah. So, um, and it's uh, you know, first day of the month. Although June is the last month of uh, second quarter. Uh, so yeah, it, it it that's why yeah we you kind of want to see in the next two days how the market will trade, uh, and and take take a cue you know and 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 see what happens you know so but uh, I was telling Sam it's very possible if you recall March which was uh, you know last month of the first quarter we had a, a huge rally in the S and P remember I mean, we rallied like ten percent so. Can we see the same thing? It's 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 very possible, you know. But but the uh, ointment is is uh, you know is is oil now, and then also um, and then it also is the QT. So we have to see how the market uh, wants to respond to that, right? So yeah, here's here's something else, Trey. Very interesting. If you pull up the SPX forty one hundred puts for today, yeah. 32 points out of the money, 32 points out of the money, right? They closed at 11, heavy premium. But now they're only five. He doesn't believe, and, and they're going to open it too. If the market keeps going up, they're going to open it too. He's taking premiums back to three months ago, Omid. Three months ago. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you're going to see a premium in, in probably a week or two. If the market doesn't go down at least 50 points anytime in the next two weeks, you will be able to buy a put 50 points down for a dollar. That's how it used to be. At the cusp of this thing when we were cratering, there were $20 on it, right? There are $20, 50 points down. And, and up and down, up and down. Really crazy. Really crazy. So... That's what I got. Omen, what are you at, buddy? Yeah, I mean, um, like I said, you know, it's uh, first day of the month, uh, last uh, month of the quarter. Uh, so, you know, I want to kind of see in the next two days how the market trades, like especially today. We had month end uh, stuff yesterday and, and, and on Friday. So, um, you know, but the, you know, the market feels like it, it, it wants to, uh, you know, wants to go up, you know, it, it just feels like you're going to see some sort of a relief rally, um, you know, uh, whether that's the bottom or not, like I said, I, I don't think so, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't think, uh, I don't think we've bottomed, you know, um, uh, you know, in situations like that, you have to obviously have a couple of things change. One is the CPI number has to come in, oil, oil has to come in, uh, or uh, the supply chain issue has to improve uh or you know so th there's a couple of stuff that I have to check off i think for the market to you know to uh to, to uh, finally put in a bottom right so i don't think we're there yet but um it, it it does feel like a little bit like uh first quarter when when we rallied uh you know in march uh and just wondering if we may see the same thing uh june last month of uh, q2 here again um, but let's see what the market does, right? So we have QT and, um, you know, obviously, and, uh, and, and, and obviously, you know, we want to see oil prices kind of come in a little bit. Uh, so let's see, let's see what happens. Okay. So that's what we know. That's what we know. But, but this Amazon is interesting because if it really takes off Omid and they just buy it and maybe they buy it to get it to a round number of, 150 that's 3,000 that's 3,000 opportunity if that happens I don't know if it's gonna happen I have no clue I have no clue I'm just watching the action but I know if this gets up to 40 or 2,500 today we're gonna get 14 for our, our 2,800 or 2,700 we're gonna get 14 for those uh, 2,600 sorry uh, and we're gonna take that we're gonna subdivide it and we're going to take that profit and put it into Google and put it into Amazon for next week if it gets to 2500 early. Uh, so very, very interesting, right? Okay, let's get started. Good morning, good morning, everybody. Six one. New month, June. And very interesting that the price of puts are dropping a lot, a lot. 
SPX is up 14. Add 14 to that year, 41, 46. So 50 points down are only 450. Wow. 50 points down are always 10 to 15 or 20 for the last six weeks. Now they're only five, 460. It's telling you something. He thinks either the volatility goes away or you don't have a huge drop. Then we see, then we see. Now, does that last for a day, a week, a month? I don't know. Okay? So what I know is I'm looking at the 4,200 calls, and they're expensive. So now if you look at the puts, and you're, you're right near 4,150-ish, the puts are five, the calls are three. <clears throat> but if we take uh, out yesterday's or Friday's closing high, 4,160 plus, it can really spike. Okay? NVIDIA, 191, 198. Land Research. CRMs had really good stuff. That means their cloud should run. Okay? Land Research, 531, 539. Avago. What a move. Let's sit and wait and sit and wait and sit and wait and sit and wait. Okay? Uh, uh, okay. Uh, this is not good. The, the mate's not coming today. Oh, okay, that's not good. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> now I got all kinds of issues. <laughs> we close it everything. Okay. Uh, Avago, wait for the first move. 587 now. Okay. CrowdStrike, up a little bit. Like this for earnings, but it's very expensive. I like the 170s, but they're too expensive. If they come down, we see, we, we see, we see. Zscaler, 161, Pan W, 521 is a huge number. MDB earnings today, see if this can get to 260. Then we see, then we see. Okay? Uh, Husa, we bought it and we sold it. As soon as oil went negative, we sold it. It took 60 cents to a dollar ninety. And I got a message last night. I seen it this morning. Sam, is Husa going to come back? I'm like, I don't understand. It went up. Take your profits. Oil just dropped. Does it drop more? Does it go back up? I don't know. Got to see. Amazon. 2472. Snowman. It's not going to move. It's a hard move. Maybe it goes up five or six or seven. Let's see. But here's the thing. It's in its four to six week do not touch range. When you're buying these things, do not touch after and earnings, and they don't move. They don't break out to new highs. Goldman Sachs, 332. NOW, this one can run. See if it gets to 482 at open. This may pop 20 at open. They got a partnership. Sava, uh, 36. Uh, Amberella put that on the screen yesterday. I watched it. We did not buy it. But once again, somebody that Supplies to the auto sector and drones didn't do well, and they didn't guide well. So not we'll be off the screen here in five minutes, but I want to talk about it because they didn't tell you everything's hunky dory. So it's not yet. Shop. If it can get to three ninety one, it can test four twenty two. Google better better. I, I have the twenty five hundreds for for six seventeen on my screen six seventeen. Not yet. We'll see. We've got to see how Amazon plays out. Tesla was negative. Now it's positive. I think it's because of what Elon wrote, but people are fickle. This one's 777. UPS D52, and that's what we know. That's what we know. Okay? Uh, comments, questions? Can you discuss Amazon shop? I just did that. Uh, and that's what we know. That's what we know. Everybody have a great trade day. See you in chat.